the high praise of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. To execute vengeance on the heathen, which means the non-Israelite nation. Starting time? Oh, yeah. Which means what? Oh, okay. Right. I'm like I'm back there. There. Psalms 149 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing upon the Lord a new song in his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let Israel. let Israel rejoice in him that made him. It didn't say let Esau rejoice and let him rejoice. It said let Israel rejoice. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises upon him with temper and heart. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. The Lord taketh pleasure in his people. Which is the nation of Israel. He will beautify the people of salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the hallowed be in their mouth and, two, and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them a judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Right. So all these people are ruling over us right now, and the king they are going into slavery. That says that right there in the Bible. It says, put take their nobles, their kings and their nobles, and put them in chains. Yeah, that's in the Bible. But you know the churches, they're not going to teach that. Isaiah 25 and 9. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him, and we, and he will save us. This is Yahweh, but show me I'm shot. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Okay? For in this mountain shall the hand of Yahweh rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dunghill. For he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimming spread forth his hands to swim. He shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands. And the fortress of the high fort of thy wall shall be brought down, shall be bring down, lay low, and bring to the ground, even to the dust. Yes, sir, yes, sir. That's how you're going to be down on the people. Damn skip. Damn skip. I got something, y'all. I got something. Let's see Isaiah 40 and 10. Isaiah 40 and 10. Behold, the Lord power will come with strong hands. And his arm shall rule for you. Man, you can plug that one. Nobody's you gonna you gonna have to speak in the get a different Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. 
And it says the same thing as the Apocrypha. And are counted as a small, as the small dust of the balance. Oh, shit. That's yeah. Just got my eyes. He's talking about some dust, got hit with some dust. Right. That's how the most I, he likes it. Yeah. Hey, but uh, you know people be like, oh, the Apocrypha is not in the Bible. This one. But that it linked right up with that Isaiah. That looked like a look like full of. Oh yeah, man, man. man. <laughs> it did look like man, man. Hell, man, 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 man. Did beat the shit out of everybody. Or as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as small as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and leaven is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof is sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing. Hey, all nations are nothing. Like, like that second Ezra said, that second Ezra 6, the brother just read earlier. He right. said the heathens are nothing, man. It's all through, that's a reoccurring theme in the Bible. That's why you're reading the book of Revelation, which is the New Testament. They can be like, he in the Old Testament. The book of Revelation said in the kingdom of heaven, there are going to be 12 gates in Jerusalem. They're all going to have the name of the children of Israel written on them. How can the names of the heathen ain't written on them? Because the heathen, are, they're nothing, you know what I mean? That's proof. All nations before him as are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Damn. Damn, you less than nothing? That's negative. He go ahead, he gonna that's, take the negative. <laughs> Damn, that's a negative. He's less than nothing. Negative one and up. <laughs> negative one and down. Right, I, you know, you call someone a piece of nothing. You say you a piece of a less than nothing. <laughs> Less than nothing. Woo, man, we, that means we're going to beat their asses, man. We're going to beat them to a pulp. We're going to beat them into the dust, man. We're going to beat them, yeah. First of all, I am literally jumping over you, so we get over two thirds. I got to get two thirds first. Man. Did you already read all the rest of that Obadiah? Where's you at, nah, Obadiah? We didn't finish that Obadiah. That Obadiah is good, man. That, that's I'm jumping over you, so we get to these niggas, man. Because he's going to be protecting them. Right, we set up a one for the cops, man. A one for the cops and Esau. We would we would have been running wild out here, man. Goddamn tornado coming through. Hopefully that's part of that armor. That armor fits. I hope it hits Texas again. That's going to hit something. It's going to hit something. Y'all, oh, man, I, I pray it destroy something. They said it was like, I'm hoping it somewhere else. They said it, yeah, it just, just uh, they got fucked up bad. They said it's a category six hurricane, but I thought the category only went up to five. They said category six. That's just super powerful. It seemed to get stronger when it's getting close to land. Yeah, if it hit New York, remember, uh, hur what was that Hurricane Sandy? Hit New York. And that was only like what a category two or something? They got fucked up. So they Them old ass trains they got in New York. Shit's raggedy as hell, man. That's supposed to be the greatest city on earth so so far. Man, you get on them trains, you be in fear of your life. I feel like I knew one of them old ass wooden roller coasters. I feel like you on the beast. Y'all been on the beast before? Nah, I don't do I used to get on them all the time. Texas 
to the hell with them. We ain't praying for Houston. You know what I'm saying? You be on the internet. Pray for Houston. Prayer. Hey, we already prayed for them. Our prayers got answered. Yeah, because you hear all these famous people I donate a million dollars. Right. You actually think that money's going to those people? Right. Yeah. Hell no. Just like they got caught when there was that hurricane in Haiti. And they had the uh, the Bush uh, and uh, Clinton Foundation, was it? The Clinton Foundation? They actually got caught. Uh, that's proved what, it. That's what Bush wife is hanging. Yeah. You seen that video? That's when, yeah, because, well, yeah, George Bush shook one of the Haitians' hands. <laughs> and then when Bill Clinton wasn't looking, he was wiping. <laughs> that's some funny shit. <laughs> that's right there on camera, man. People, he wiped it on Bill Clinton. People don't give a fuck about Jake, man. Yeah, but they, they, Haiti got fucked up, man. They took all, and all these stupid ass people donated money, and the Haitians didn't see a, a, a dime. You know what I mean? They still day. fucked up. They still fucked up. To this day, still living in tents, man. That's been years ago. That's why I be going to the grocery store. They always ask, you want to round up your uh, purchase to, to go to the shelter, uh, to the homeless or whatever. You know how they do that at Kroger? I always say no. Cause they, they, they ain't no homeless people getting that money, man. If you want to help out a homeless person, go find a homeless person on the street and give them some money. You know where it's going, cause you gave it to them. Yeah, they dumb. Yeah, and half them motherfuckers begging too is liars too. Cause you be seeing the same, the same Jakes be at the same spot every day begging for change. Man, I had this guy tell me the same lie uh, twice in the same week. I see him at Kroger one day, say, man, my car broke down. I got to get back to Circleville. I, I just need... Yeah, and then I see him like uh, two days later, a little Caesar. And I was like, bro, you just told me this two days ago. He's like, no, I didn't. I was like, yes, you did. Hey, last week, that's like... Well, you can look at his face. He look a little cool. <laughs> the other guy was being an asshole. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up? Yeah, they're getting them scriptures in. Now, what did you buy, Rick? We about to get that open diet. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. We're gonna beat the shit out of the heathens. And the Lord ain't dealing with heathens. Uh, okay. Psalm 18, 39. I'm bring down to like 42 or something like that. That says, For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemy. Oh, uh, the Lord, he's, that was a song, of, that's a, like David's song right there. Uh, but he said, Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies. Read that again. The necks. Thou hast given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even until Yahweh, but he answered them not. All right, so when that time comes, Esau going to be crying, man. He going to be begging for you. You going to get him catch one one-on-one on one in the dark corner. Also, even two-thirds going to be crying. Oh, please forgive me. Please forgive me is what they're going to say. Go ahead. Then did I beat them small. I think that's what would have been. Then I beat them small. <laughs> you know King David wasn't playing around. Ooh. He said, then I beat them small as dust. And because really, King David is the baddest dude to ever walk the planet next to Yahweh Shah. Next to the Lord himself, King David, he was the mightiest warrior to ever walk the earth. He killed tens of thousands of people. Tens of, ain't no other person killed that many people besides the Most High. Tens of thousands. The scriptures say he killed tens of thousands. How does one person kill tens of thousands? Go ahead. Abraham went to war with some damn uh with uh, King Chetalomar, however the hell his name was. Yeah, slaughtered. Go ahead. He says I did cast him out at the dirt in the streets, and have delivered me from destruction. That made me the head of the even. A people who have not, 
about not known shall serve me. Uh, people that have not known, because we don't mean not known, because we, we got nothing to do with these heathens. We ain't got nothing to do with their customs, their ways. Two-thirds, Yeah, two-thirds embrace the heathens. I mean, that's why our people celebrate Christmas. Where do you think they got Christmas from? They got that from the heathens. That go, that go back to the ancient uh, Babylonians. That, that ancient Hamite started that. that uh, same with Easter. Easter was created by the, the, the ancient Babylonians. They worship the ancient Babylonian goddess Ishtar. That's where you get the word Easter. It goes to worshiping the goddess of prostitution, and, uh, the goddess of fertility. Easter. Ishtar. That's the same word. We were just talking about that earlier. It's time for season to get down. It's time for season to come into. It's time when they put a sacrifice and shit. Yeah. The harvest time. There's a harvest moon coming up, I think, on the, uh, the 6th, right? They're they going to sacrifice. The sacrifice is required. You already know they had a sacrifice on that damn eclipse. Some sacrifices require fire and the shit. Yep. Show. Oh, show. Well, they finna go to North Korea. They I sure, hope so. they sure promoting it. They promoting that like right. that, right. like right. that, right. that Mayweather fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they trying to get the, the people behind them. I be reading the comment boards on the internet too. Most Americans are with Donald Trump. They want to go into Korea. That's how stupid these people are. But that's good though. And they don't understand. You say the right, they're stupid. But that's good though. That's good though. I'm glad they're stupid though. You know what I mean? Take place yeah. 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 It's gotta I'm the sooner the better. Yeah, right, right. Something got it, man. You know if I wanna see these fucking fucking yellow type of beer. Yeah, fuck your person. You know what I'm saying? I hope those balls be stacked, these motherfuckers carrying bags and shit. Like, like, like oh, right, right. Take that shit. Go waste all their hard-earned money on some bullshit. It's crazy. That's unrealistic to even go buy them presents for your children like that. Yeah, useless eaters. They really are useless, man. What kind of skills does the average person have? If their car break down, they can't fix it. Can't change a tire, you know what I mean? Ain't trying to learn nothing, you know what I mean? on that day no more either. Give us power. We ain't gonna be no little bullshit ass fight and shit. Is, 
dumb shit. We believe the Lord gonna give us that spiritual power. And he gave, I mean, if you believe in the Bible, he gave the apostles power, didn't he? He gave Peter, uh, and Paul power. They didn't raise up first. Jeremiah 51 and 20. 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Hey, Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Well, what does a rod do? That's a, that represents rulership. You know what I mean? Because Israel is going to inherit the earth, inherit the nations, inherit the planet and everything in it. You know what I mean? The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord of hosts, I mean the Lord of armies. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy the with the, Yeah, so talking to Israel. He just said Israel. So with Israel, the Most High is going to use the elect of Israel to destroy these uh, heathens. You know, he's going to give us that power. Just like Obadiah 18 says, we're gonna take all, we're gonna put Esau in slavery. After a thousand years, we're gonna burn them all up. First, we gotta serve slavery for a thousand years. Yeah. Then we're gonna burn them up with fire. I mean, Revel hey, get that Revelation 2 26. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse of his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot of his wife. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. Man and woman? Yep. Why did you do that to the woman? So that means in that day, you, like, you ain't going to spare the woman. You know what I mean? You wicked ass hoes. That's what I'm waiting for, man. We ain't going to be raping them. They're just going to put them to death. Well, that's where one of our mysteries come from. And the most high, he's he gonna change our spirit on that day. So even if you lie had to do something you don't want to do, hey, the most high gonna make you do it. He gonna make you do it. It's gonna kill you. Right. Oh, he's just gonna change your spirit though. The scripture said he that holds his hand back from the sword or something like that. But he he gonna change our spirit though. He's gonna he's gonna make us perfect. Yeah. That's right. And with thee. Will I break in pieces old and young? 